There are seven specific rappers that perfectly represent the seven heavenly virtues. We're going to start off with charity. Charity is the voluntary giving of help to those in need, and a perfect rapper for this virtue is Drake. One of the biggest and most famous stunts that Drake has ever pulled is his God's Plan music video, which has over a billion views on YouTube. In this video, it is shared that him and his team had given away almost a million dollars to random people, going into grocery stores, announcing that everything is free. Anything you guys want in the store is free, so grab whatever you guys want. Drake was really the first Mr. Beast, but even then, this isn't the only charitable act that Drake has shown to random people and his own fans that is really famous. During his second leg of his As Big As The What tour with J. Cole, and even during his first leg with 21 Savage, Drake was giving away tons of stuff to his fans. He gave away $100,000 to a cancer survivor in Nashville, he has cleared his fans' student loan debt, giving them upwards of $20,000, and along with all of this, paying off mortgages and buying new cars for fans. I think it is pretty easy to tell that Drake is a pretty charitable guy and represents his virtue very well, and as much as he does do a lot of stuff on the internet, that could make you hate him, whether it's just acting uh, a little weird or engaging in beef, you can't deny that he does give back a lot from his success, and it's really nice to see that happen. Someone very close to Drake represents this next virtue, which is humility. Humility is represented by being modest in self, free of pride or arrogance, and the rapper that perfectly represents this is Lil Wayne. Even though Lil Wayne is considered by fans to be one of the goats of rap, he rarely refers to himself as that. I mean, you'll pull up some of his fire bars and he doesn't even know that he wrote them. Safe sex is great sex. Better wear a latex, because you don't want that latex and I think I'm late, thanks. Oh, 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 I said that. You said that. I'm going to talk. I don't know when I said it or why I said it or why I said it. Wayne. I said it. Lil Wayne has always shown that he has taken inspiration from many artists and never gives himself the credit he really should be giving himself. He's spoken about how artists like Jay-Z have inspired him a ton and he could never touch them in rap terms. Along with this, Lil Wayne has opened up about a ton and shown a lot of personal growth during his career as well. Whether it is about dealing with addiction or something else, Wayne said himself, I am very humble and I am very gracious and very grateful for everything that happens to me and about me and around me. He has also contributed to his community a ton, creating different charities that help where he came from, including an event called Wheezy Christmas where he uses his platform to give toys to needy children. I think Wayne is definitely deserving of this, but let me know in the comments if you guys think differently. Now is also a great time to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now this next artist, a lot of people hate him, and a lot of people think he has done some pretty bad things as well, including leading to the death of Chicago rapper King Von. But just because someone has one really terrible trait does not mean that they cannot fit a virtue with a completely different one. This next trait is diligence, careful, persistent work, or effort. And I don't think anyone fits diligence more than NBA Youngboy. If anyone is putting in persistent work or effort, it is most definitely YB. I mean, this man really be dropping like every other week. He has six solo albums, two collab albums, 21 solo mixtapes, six collab mixtapes, and 102 singles. And somehow all of them sound exactly the same. But all jokes aside, I think this really just shows how hard Youngboy works, literally dropping anything and bro just keeps going. And it's not like these records are not successful either since Youngboy is one of the most streamed rappers on YouTube, which is a really surprising stat when I found that out, but I guess it's because he drops so much. So I don't think anyone fits this better than him. Next up, one of my favorite virtues from this video, patience. Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay. And no one is more patient than this artist who in the past few months has done some crazy numbers, including a number one song, his first number one song, and that artist in question is Playboy Cardi. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Did you guys really think that this evil motherfucker could bag a virtue, bro? Hell no. Patience is going to Playboy Cardi, 
fans. Nobody is more patient than the OPM community, bro. Constantly being lied to and still anticipating an album that is never coming out. They have been waiting for an album since 2020. And not only have they been waiting for the album, we have seen the pump fake with the rollout for like three months now. Bro is breaking records for the most lies and the longest album rollout of all time. Actually, someone else might have that record. No one is more patient than this fan base. And even at the beginning of the song Control on Whole Lotta Red, DJ Academics talks about how patient and loyal all of the fans are. But all jokes aside though, I know this is Seven Heavenly Virtues as rappers, but I think this is a unique thing we can do for this one and it's pretty funny. But let me know in the comments what rapper you think could fit this virtue instead. All right, now back to the real video and next virtue. And the next one up is temperance, which is the quality of moderation or self-restraint. A lot of people will also consider temperance to be the absence of drinking and just being sober in general. And this one, I know for a fact, is about to surprise every single one of you. A lot of you are probably not even going to believe me and be in the comments saying that it is not true, but it is, so let's get to it. The rapper for Temperance is Future. It's no secret that Future raps about a ton of drugs, but who said that he actually does them? Future has been secretly sober for a minute now, and there's a reason he keeps all of this a secret and under wraps pretty well. In Future's music, he speaks a lot about using drugs to ease the pain and similar things like that, discussing different types of themes and subjects of heartbreak, cheating, and drug use, obviously. So his whole brand is very much associated with all of these things, and a big reason he keeps his sobriety secret he said that he is afraid that it is going to harm his image which honestly in my opinion isn't the best thing to do as a huge artist like this because it only hurts more people than helps and we actually saw how this could influence and can harm firsthand if you guys did not know, Juice World, who unexpectedly passed away from a drug overdose, made it clear that Future was a big inspiration for him starting to do drugs, even saying when he met Future, that's the first thing I told him and he apologized to me. So Future caused Juice to start to do a lot of these things like sipping lean. Future released a big statement about this entire situation and said, it was so many people that came before me that talked about drugs from rock and roll stars to pop stars to people aware of other artists going to rehab and aware of other artists overdose and there is so many other people that was a part of this world way before me. And he said, it's just like I probably shed in more light on it and brought more attention to it from my cadence or charisma me having influence on that, I just feel like that is not my intentions. My intention was to just be me. I wouldn't want no one to go through anything to harm themselves or to bring death to themselves and Juice World is a touchy situation. I'm heartbroken by the whole entire thing. My heart goes out to his family and his mom. On a lighter note, our next virtue is kindness. Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. And this next rapper definitely deserves it. He's done a ton of charity and is obviously an overall kind person. Along with that, almost everyone who watched part one of this video was commenting for me to do him and that I was stupid for not doing him and that is going to be Post Malone. It is very easy to tell when someone watching like Post Malone, whether they are performing or doing an interview or even just on the street getting confronted by paparazzi or interacting with fans, he is always polite kind and never has any bad intentions. There are more examples of Post Malone showing off his kindness that I can count, especially with him giving back as well. There was a video that went viral of him and one of his fans that a lot of people found very nice. Yeah, what kind of beer you get? That's a tough choice. Not for me. And along with this, we have seen many instances of Posty doing things like this, like giving back to where he came from and other charity organizations, like I said. He could probably fit for charity as well, raising over $200,000 for a charity from a Twitch stream where that was donated to a bunch of various charities. So I think if anyone is going to deserve this, Posty definitely does. He's always showing love and really brings out a positive energy in the rap community from an artist at least where this side of rap isn't always shown because it doesn't align with the rapper's brand like we saw before. So it's nice to definitely see that positive light in the rap community. Now this next virtue is always hard to place just because of the nature of the definition. But just like part one of this video, I have found an alternative definition that will work and this virtue is going to be 
chastity. Yeah, this is always a hard one. I was gonna say future as a joke, cause that man is just the horniest dude of all time. But he was already in here, so I did look to find a person that actually fits, or people I guess, you'll see in a second. Chastity is the state of practice or refraining from sexual intercourse. Ah yeah. This is a hard one for rappers, so like I said, I'm gonna twist the definition a little bit to staying loyal and marriage and all that good stuff. Because I don't think there is a single rapper who fits that first definition. And a couple that really shows this off is none other than ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. Starting off as close friends, ASAP and Rihanna have been collaborators for over a decade, but started dating since 2019. He even went as far to call Rihanna the one not even a year after dating. A year later, they had a child together, and now from the infamous Super Bowl Rihanna performance, they are having another baby, where I think that is probably the youngest person to ever perform a halftime show. But jokes aside, they have been loyal to each other, which is pretty hard to find nowadays, especially in the entertainment industry. So I think they both put together a pretty good example of what it means to be with each other to love each other and what other couples and people should do as well as always thanks for watching subscribe for more and on that note